Okay, let's see another example. In this case, UPN of on-prem user will be same as cloud-based user, but primary email address will be different. So I have, sorry, I have a user called MU3, right? His UPN is merge.user3 at itsense.net. This is the UPN, right? This user have a mailbox on-prem and his primary email address is m.u3 at itsense.net, as you can see here in this exchange server. In my cloud-based or in, in Azure AD, I have a user called merge user3 and his username is merge.user3 at itsense.net and it's a cloud-based user it means I created in an account it has nothing to do with on-prem AD so what if if I sync my on-prem user who has a UPN of merge.user3 at itsense.net to Office 365. Will SMTP merging will work or not? Keep this in mind. My on-prem user have the same UPN as this cloud-based user username. However, primary SMTP address is different. So let's see. So first thing first, let's move this guy into the test OU, which is enabled for sync, right? Go to our cute little AD Connect server and run Delta. And we will see, yeah, Delta import started. So again, I will pause the video and I will show you the result when they are ready. Okay, sync has finished. And as you can see, I have, I had a user called merge user three. And it has, after sync, that cloud-based identities change from from cloud to sync from on prem so it means merged happen and username or display name is changed from merge user one to mu3 which is a display name of my on prem user so in this case did merge happen yes merge happen and cloud based identity got merged with on-prem identity and it became one account did user lose office 365 license no the only thing is the display name is changed based on the properties which are there on-prem like if i go to on-prem domain controller, as you can see here. That's what happened. Takes the first name and last name and display name from on-prem user because on-prem override the cloud one when, when merging happens, right? What are the consequences of this? Well, I would say as long as if you don't keep your email ID as email address same as UPN, it will cause conflict to user. For example, if they try to use any Azure Active Directory based application, when they try to log in using their UPN for seamless sign on, uh, most some applications say enter their email address, but what they meant to say is enter your username. So if their username 
slash primary email address is not same user will have confusion and a, and a trouble logging on so microsoft strongly recommend that you match user upn with primary smtp address to avoid all this confusion if you don't then sometimes your service desk will be ringing the user will say i'm trying to use my smtp address or email like m.u3.itsense.net but i cannot access this cloud-based application and the reason is because the cloud-based application is expecting upn value from user to log on not an email address although it says as email address so it's important or recommended to have a upn value same as primary user email address